Hi, welcome back to the 45th Parallel Homestead. Today I want to talk about our GE steam washer and dryer combo that we purchased. It is an HE pro um, product, so you have to be really careful at what detergents you put in there. But I want to talk about the downfall. We are a family with three dogs um, who are all very sheddy dogs. So our clothes always have a lot of hair. <clears throat> One thing with our dryer, when we could use our dryer, is we had sheets the, the, that repelled the dog hair. With this, there's no way to repair the dog hair, or to re repel the dog hair. We liked this feature because it was all automatic. We didn't have to worry about switching it over. We knew that if we set it on a time, a normal, let's see, heavy load, warm water, normal tumble for the dry, it would take two hours and 23 minutes. After four use with this, it took seven hours to dry our clothes. Now, when you're living off grid, that's not the best scenario. You can't use the dryer for seven hours straight and maintain a, ba a battery load like we do. It just wasn't feasible. Right now we're in our rental home, so we were trying it out to see if this was gonna be the best product for our family. Unfortunately, it is not the best product for our family. And I'll show you a couple reasons why. So, when you open it up, it's a very small load. Very small. I think it was 2.4 load capacity. And if you look right here, dog hair, dog hair, dog hair. Everywhere there's dog hair. It is not getting rid of the dog hair because there's no way to ventilate this system for it to pull the dog hair out the dog hair gets washed down the drain now after our fourth round where it took seven hours to dry dry it also flooded our laundry room which is a big no um we had to clean up the mess because where it drains into our sink it had completely clogged the sink with dog hair that was not not going to work for us so unfortunately we are going to have to take it back um to probably go with the front loader washer and a regular dryer so that we can ventilate and pull that air um through that will also help take out the dog hair out of our clothes one thing with using a dryer, we'd find that when we would pull the rack, it would have probably a good inch of dog hair all the way down. So we knew that it was doing its job in pulling the hair from our clothes. Now it doesn't take more than 10 minutes once you're around the dogs to really get covered in hair again, but it's always nice when you're putting away your clothes not to have dog hair everywhere. Um, we are going to show, if you see my dirty, that's clean clothes I haven't put away, by the way. Shh. Um, I am going to open it up and try to show you without making too big of a mess because it will drain all over my floor. But the trap underneath, they say to clean your trap every month. We had to clean it after four loads not a month load of loads four loads which is not a lot of clothes when there's three people in your family it would be really tedious every four loads having to take it out and seems how the fourth load took seven hours to dry it's not a feasible thing for us so I'm going to drop the camera down and show you opening the trap and emptying it out Here's the trap. Now, in order for it to get open, you actually have to use something 
to open it. I have a can opener because <laughs> it was the only thing I could find. So let me turn off the power real quick. You just pop the lid open if I can get it to pop. Come on. Okay. So you pop the lid out. I have my bucket right here and a towel that we used. You can pull this trap out of the way and you untwist. Make sure you've got some stuff. Here comes the water. Luckily, we do have cement floors, so I can clean that up. It won't be a big issue. say he even here that's a lot of dog hair and human hair but that's that's kind of gross now if you look inside you can see inside we are now clean this right here is an emergency door unlock so you push up and it unlocks your door um but now we're clean and we can restart again if we were going to keep trying but because we're not um we wanted to clean it out before we took it back and that's it so when we go to put everything back in drain back in turn it clockwise until it snaps in place Puff that back in there, into the holder, if it'll stay, and reshut your door. That's pretty much it to cleaning out that little filter. That filter is there for if you have keys or anything, or jewelry, or money that drops down, it'll go into that and hold it so it doesn't go around your machine all the time but it's always good that if your cycle is running really long or the door won't unlock and there's clothes inside or if it's just not draining there's probably something wrong or something clogging your filter um but because we're not keeping this that's pretty much the only thing that i have to do now in the future we probably will look into something similar to this um maybe bigger because that small capacity is not working for us. Um, it would be like one day's worth of clothes. And I don't want to do clothes every single day. That's the kind of person I am. With everything that we're going to be doing on the farm and on the homestead, I didn't want to have to be doing this every single day. Twice a week is fine, but every single day is just way too much. And it's an... It's, overload on our system our off-grid system so there it is this is um the h h e turbo steam washer and dryer combo it does have a lot of perks um be, like i said earlier because it would be um it can wash and dry everything all at the same time you can change it to different settings. You can add dry time if you want. Like there. Adds two more hours. So you could use it as just a dryer only. But when you're not 
um, when there's no lint trap, it's very hard to use this if you're used to using the lint sheets. So in the future, um, we will be getting something smaller than what we already have. And hopefully it will be, it'll work perfectly for our family. I have no doubt that it's going to be a, a, a learning curve. Um, but we've got, there's just limited space when you're in a tinier house than there is when you're in a standard size house that's got a lot of footage. And we've got our own laundry room that was built on to this house probably in the 70s. Um... Here are the dryer sheets that I use. Bounce, Pet Hair, and Lint Guard. And these are amazing um, to get lint out. Now, I did use the washer the other day. And then I just stuck everything in the dryer so that I'd have access to the dryer. But this right here. See that nasty mess? That is just from a couple pairs of jeans and a t-shirt or two that we put through um and it does an amazing it does a great job of catching everything i mean look at that that's a lot of dog hair it's gross and disgusting and i know before you say anything we do um we brush our dogs but when you have our uh, our dog is a husky border collie, so he's got one of them is he's got a lot of dog hair, a lot of dog hair, and in fact we always joke around that. In fact, there's one on my glasses right now. We always joke around that when we brush him, we get another dog because there's so much hair that we're pulling off. And there's nothing we can really do about that until summer really hits and he can stay outside longer. But because we're in the middle of winter in northern Michigan, um, it's very hard to put your dogs outside all the time. They go out on a lead. When they're done doing their business, they come inside because of the snow, the cold. It's not feasible for us to leave them outside. So we have to deal with dog care all the time, 24 hours a day. Um, I don't think any inch of our house is not covered in dog hair. So when you come over to our house, we are dog friendly and we will hand you a lint brush. So thank you for stopping by. When we figure more out, we will go ahead and post another video on another machine that we've, that we purchased. Um, as of right now, we're going to go back to our trusty old top loader that came with the house and we will try again. Thank you. Have a good day.